It was super fun. I, I, I don't think I've, I don't know that I've had this much fun making a movie before. It was just a really amazing set. Dan Trachtenberg, our director, he creates an environment where it's really, really easygoing, it's laid back, it's fun, and everybody kind of wants the same thing. Everybody just wants the movie to be as good as it can be. And uh, that just made it like a, like a playground, like a great place to come to work every day. Then they built us this amazing set for this bunker that was really realistic and really fun. It made it very easy to imagine, okay, what would it really be like if we were trapped down here and we were unsure if our host was uh, sane or insane? Uh, it made it easy to kind of go there and to imagine how kind of off-putting that such a situation would be. John Goodman is a doomsday prepper in this movie who has built this fallout shelter because he's always been convinced that the, the world's going to end and we're going to need to take shelter down there. So at one time, uh, you know, we need a lot from him because he's saved us in a sense. Uh, but then we start realizing that it, it might not be a safe environment for us down there in the movie and we ultimately have to make the decision of whether we want to just stay down there or if we want to try and get out. Absolutely. You know, I think that this, this movie is, is kind of old-fashioned in that sense, is that it's a thriller for sure, but it's character-driven. It's much more kind of about what happens when these people get trapped, like what happens to their personalities, what do they have to face about their past, about their history, about their regrets. You know, there's a great, there's a, there's a Hitchcock movie called Lifeboat, which is, you know, which all takes place on this lifeboat. Uh, and at the time was considered really risky. It was like, well, that's boring. Who wants to see a movie about these people? But it's so interesting. It's about, you know, that kind of isolation. And, you know, The Thing is one of my favorite, you know, uh, movies. And that is also it, it is about a group of people trapped. And once you start turning on each other in the aftermath, it's like, who are we fighting, you know? I like those kind of movies, and I think this is in that similar vein. I guess maybe just kind of keeping that tension alive, making sure that you were kind of keeping the wire taut as the, as the story progressed. But thankfully, we got to shoot it in order, and that made it really easy to kind of chart, like, okay, so where is my character at this time? So that was really fun. Under the surface, something is always kind of like bubbling to the top. And so the movie really, it's like every scene serves as kind of just like a ratchet and the, and the tension just gets just ki like clicked up a notch throughout, like from the beginning until the end. I think there's a reason why the movie is called 10 Cloverfield Lane and not Cloverfield Part 2. You know, it's, it's not a direct sequel, but, you know, there's a lot of thematic and tonal overlap. And I think what's interesting about Cloverfield and about this movie is that they're about larger than life circumstance and intense kind of you know bad things happening but at the heart of it it's really about people it's about kind of the human response to crazy events happening uh, in the real world and that was one of the reasons why I loved the first Cloverfield and it's one of the reasons why I love this movie. I had just been telling my friends, you know, even when I got cast in it a, a while back, you know, I was like, well, it's, just a, it's a movie about a young woman who is kind of running away from something in her life and uh, in that process gets in this car accident and uh, wakes up in a bunker of all places with a guy who says, oh, I found you on the side of the road and I brought you down here because just so happens there was this cataclysmic event happening on Earth and we had to get down here to be safe. So the, the movie really kind of kicks off from there, but then it's about, okay, so we're safe, but what next?